Today's port trigger tutorial is entitled JSON Web Token Authentication Bypass via JKU Header Injection. This lab uses a JSON Web Token based mechanism for handling sessions. Because of this, we are going to be using Burp's JWT Editor extension, so make sure you have it installed. This lab server supports the JSON Web Key Set URL or JKU parameter in the JSON Web Token header. A JSON Web Key Set is a JSON object containing an array of JSON Web Keys representing different keys. This means that instead of embedding public keys directly into the JSON Web Token's JWK header parameter, like we did in the previous lab, we are going to be using the JKU header parameter to reference an URL. When verifying the signature, the server fetches the key from the provided URL. Secure websites will only fetch keys from trusted domains. However, this lab's server fails to check whether the provided URL belongs to a trusted domain before fetching the key. To solve the lab, we must access the admin panel located at slash admin and delete the user Carlos. Let's access the lab and log in as winner. Then, try accessing the admin page at slash admin. As with the previous labs, we get the message admin interface only available if logged in as an administrator. Go to Burp Proxy HTTP History and look for the Get My Account request. Send this request to Repeater. In Repeater, we can see that we are logged in as winner. Now, delete this query parameter ID equals winner and make sure you are still logged in as winner. Next, go to the JSON Web Token tab. Observe that the algorithm used to sign the JSON Web Token is RS256. We want to generate our own RSA key. To generate a new RSA key, Go to the JWT editor and click the new RSA key button. In the window that pops up, click Generate and then OK. Right click on the newly created key and select Copy Public Key as JWK. Back in the browser, go to the exploit server. We are going to add a new JSON Web Key Set in the body section, like seen in the previous example. So, a JSON object containing a key called Keys, which is an array of JSON Web Keys. Here, we are going to add our newly created JSON Web Key. We are going to be using this key to sign the JSON Web Token, so copy the key ID and replace the value in the key ID header parameter. Lastly, add a new JKU header parameter to the JSON Web Token. This will have the value of our exploit server's URL. Copy it from the browser and paste it here. Now, we need to sign the JSON Web Token with the RSA key we've created before. For this, click the Sign button at the bottom of the screen, make sure you select the correct signing key, and click OK. After sending the request, you should still be signed in as winner. This means that the server accepted our signature. So what happened? The server received the JSON Web Token, so the JKU header parameter went to the provided URL, which was our exploit server, saw the key, checked it against the key used to sign the request, they matched, so everything seemed OK. The problem here is that the server did not check if the URL used was part of a list of trusted domains. All that's left to do now is change the value of the subject to administrator. We are logged in as the administrator and now have access to the admin panel. Go back to the Raw tab and change the request line to get slash admin to navigate to the admin panel. We see a link to delete the user Carlos. Go to the delete username Carlos page by adding the path to the request line. We get a 302 found response. If we go back to the admin page, we can see the message user deleted successfully. Also observe that the delete username Carlos path is no more. Back in the browser, we also see that the lab has been solved. This is it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye!